Hey guys, Matteo here, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to take a look at a color grading tutorial and in particular how I graded the Mercedes commercial. So as I already mentioned in the comment section of the behind the scene video uh, for Mercedes, I wanted to do a dedicated video about the color grading process because in this case I did some stuff that I don't typically do uh, for all my videos, in particular some mask and the tracker and the noise reduction. In this case when you have a situation where you are in completely low light, you can't really manage the light, especially in the street, of course. And then you have an agency that want, of course, an image that is not too dark, but it's not too bright. And you want to make it, you know, look good and look like a, a Mercedes commercial, because at the end of the day, this video went on the Mercedes YouTube channel. So you have a little bit of compromise and a little bit more work to do. So I did the entire color grading on my MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's a top spec, so it's one of the best I think it was last year. So just a reminder, the entire project was edited by T2 Films in Italy. So the entire thing was done using the Blackmagic ecosystem. So we shot B-RAW, we edited in DaVinci, and we graded in DaVinci, and we deliver our final file from DaVinci Resolve. Here I have the project open up exactly as I graded it. So the very first clip was shot on the Mavic 2 Pro, as you can see, this image, I'm going to pull it through screen, it's full of noise. So let's just go ahead. This image right here is only three nodes. So of course, we have one node right here, which is the battery natural rec 709 LUT uh, for DJI Mavic Pro. On the first node, we have our um, basic adjustment, like white balance, tint, contrast, stuff like that. And it already looks kind of good in my opinion comparing to what it was so when we deactivate it, all these and we see the log image is really bad but then after the color grading it looks like something completely different so uh, some adjustment right here so in this case i dropped the temperature to 530 because i wanted to make it look cool so this is the image without that adjustment right here and then of course it brought down the shadows a little bit the me the gamma and the gain and then on the third node, I basically added a little bit of noise reduction, not too crazy because it might damage the image and make it look like uh, machine's not that good. And then I added a little bit of sharpness because in this case, it was really, really uh, blur. I mean, again, if you see the original file, it was pretty bad. But then when you add this, this, and this, when you think about it, it looks something completely different. Let's move on. Uh, again, there are some clips that are like alpha second. Again, I want to mention the insane job that Matteo, the editor, did. And these guys, again, is 1 minute and 21 second. Look how many clips we have in here. But let's go back to our image here. And there is something that I did here that is pretty important and you're going to find uh, along the entire video. Basically, the biggest problem we had in the streets, um, we were not able to control those yellow lights. So there were some street where we had LED light, but some street had those weird green yellow lights that I didn't really like. I'm gonna show you very quick, of course, this is the battery uh, Natural Rec 709 LUT. These are our basic adjustment, and I'm gonna show you the log right now. This was the image, the log image, and then we fix it. So the biggest adjustment right here and all over in the um, camera car and in the street, it was this one right here. So this is U versus SAT. So basically what I did here, I pick up that horrible yellow light that you see here. So this is the yellow in our graphic right here. And I completely desaturated. And uh, doing that, it actually helped to clean up the image as you can see here. It looks pretty natural right now. This was really, really bad when I saw it. I was like, whoa. So there's nothing too crazy here happening. There's some adjustment right here. Temperature, of course, dropped to minus 700. And, and keep in mind, guys, you can also go here and change the white balance. But um, when you shoot raw, I just go to the temperature and it does pretty much the same thing. So anyway, log after. So this was one and this was another one. We shot this with the black magic on the gimbal outside of the car. So for this one right here, I of course stabilize it a little bit. It was a little bit too shaky and uh, we got our natural rec 709 right here, battery, and then our basic adjustment. And that's why I tend to capture when I shoot stuff 
as I wanted them. So I, I try not to think about, oh, I wanted to fix it in post. No, you don't have to fix it in post. Just try to capture it in the best way possible. And the only thing you have to do in post is simply adding a lot, converting to Rec 709 and do your basic adjustment and call it a day. I think that's a big deal because it's going to save you so much time and, and hassle in the post-production process. And let's move on now. We are in the studio and here is where I had to find a little bit of compromise uh, because of the agency, because of course they wanted to see the car. So if I add all this level right here, that's basically how our image look with only the natural Rec 709. So in this case, I try to add a little bit of contrast. Of course, what happened, the car becomes black and all these nodes right here, they were basically to light up the car and just try to balance uh, the light a little bit better. So in this case, first one right here, I did a mask. Here I add a little bit of light. So the mask didn't go up here because you could see like that it was a little bit too much. So then the second node that I have here, it's another mask, but this time is inverted. So basically what this thing does is you set up a mask, you click invert, and basically then you drop down your um, exposure around the car. So the car tends to pop up a little bit better compared to the background. Again, I'm gonna turn it off and on. And then the very last one is just a mask on the light because it was blowing up a lot. So when you activate it, you see, this is with the mask and this is without. So it helps quite a lot actually to um, bring down that blur in the in the light of the car. Again, let's take a look at the log, full screen maybe, right here. And this is the corrected image. Let's move on. This is another clip in the city. I mean, you can barely see. This was like one second what I did, natural rec 709, basic adjustment. That's the big difference right here. Okay, now we are on the bridge. This was one of the trickiest shot of the entire video. This is the log image. This is the graded image. A lot of notes here, but the problem in this case is that uh, there wasn't a lot of light. We were at 3200 already. Of course, when there's not a lot of light and when we are at 3200 in such a situation, it's extremely hard to give the image um, a nice contrast without making like the car look very dark. So let's just try with our battery natural Rec 709. Check this out. The car is really dark. The street in the back is super yellow. That, that was a problem because here it wasn't too bad. See the, the lights right here. But then in the back, there was like this mixed light that I, I didn't really like. So let's bring up the scope too so you can see. And uh, basically what I did here, some basic adjustment. There's some noise reduction going on here. I basically lift the shadows quite a lot and the mids too. So let's go back to the wheels. Temperature minus 740. And again, from here, I start to uh, create mask. So in this case, let's turn this on. It brings out a little bit of, of the shadows that were brushed before. These ones right here is one of the main correction. Check the background, those yellow lights, those horrible yellow lights right here. Check them out and they basically become gray. So this one right here, it's another mask, of course. And I did the inverted thing one more time. And this time I also track it. You can see it from this symbol down here. So mask brought down uh, the surrounding of the car. So the car can pop up a little bit more. You see how bright it was around the car. Now it's a little bit darker. And then of course I did track the car. As you can see the mask is following the car right here. Okay. And then this other one right here is the uh, light. So if we go here, you can see before completely blown out after much better. And this is another mask. And this is something that I added just to give it a little bit of light. So if we turn it on, it's very subtle, but you can definitely see it. Uh, it just gives a little bit more depth and more light to the car. Again, full screen, this was log. Those yellow lights were horrible. The light was a little bit blown out, some noise, and we made it like this.
Okay, and right here we are in a new situation. This is the dance school, basically, where the guy, um, Davide, is training. Kept it very easy. This was Sunrise, so that's the shot. Log Rex 709. Again, you can see the blue that is basically uh, linking together the entire uh, video. So this is a basic adjustment. And here was mainly just the natural Rex 709 and just a very, very basic lifting up of the shadows, nothing crazy. Same thing goes for these clips, all the same. This is nice too, battery natural Rex 709, very smooth idle roll off right here. And some basic adjustment, nothing else. Let's see this little piece here. This was a little bit early today, it wasn't uh, sunrise yet, just a little bit before. And same thing, natural rack 709, some basic adjustment. Same goes for this one. Um, I intentionally shot it pretty underexposed because like this was very dark. If we check out our scopes right here, see it's pretty low, but that's how I imagine, we imagine the clip and that's how I shot it, so. Okay, so here, we are in the studio. You can see here there's just a natural Rec 709 and some basic adjustment. And here we are on the rooftop, the parking garage right here. And for this one, I think I didn't do too much neither. It was a really cool location. We had our natural Rec 709 right here. Basic adjustment right here. And in between, I put a mask on the car. So I light up the car a little bit. There we go. Just a tad. It's not nothing crazy. So one, two, and then yeah, this is sequence here is crazy. When I graded this thing, it was again. It, it took me a while. It took me a couple of days because it, you know, every time you have to go back and see that everything matched. So if you want to watch it a little bit from from the beginning right here, I mean, you can see there's the blue right there. There's the blue here. Everything sort of had to. To match, of course, this is the, the, the job of a cinematography first and, and the colorist back at the studio is opening the car. What did I do here? Just the our lot right here and the basic adjustment, pretty simple. ISO 1250 even here. Back to the shot, which was the same one that I showed you guys before. So this is the exact same color, except that I move a little bit the mask, but um, overall it's pretty much the same. And we're back again, this time with the red and the and the white light. We were just experimenting some stuff here. Same thing, I'm not gonna show you because I showed you already before. Okay, here we start entering the close-up of the car. When I was shooting this stuff, I watched it on the screen and I was like, that's it. Nothing else I wanna do in color grading. I had my light on it and I was happy when I saw the result and when I went to post-production coloring, I was like, all right, it's done, nothing else to do here. Just some basic adjustment to make the image a little bit more punchy and contrasty. Okay, here we are in the street. Here we have three nodes. It was a crazy flare coming into the lens right here. So what I did is our battery, natural X709 LUT. So this node right here is still the same U versus SAT where I desaturated the, the, the yellow channel, red channel. And here you can see it on the side of the door, actually. So if you see here, if I deactivate it, there you go. It's very red there and yellow. It's not really nice. So I put this one and fix it. Some noise reduction going on and some basic adjustment. So I really like this shot because I love the lights in the back. They're very symmetrical. So really, really nice. Uh, we are inside a studio here. We use an Astera outside of the window with a sort of program that was basically having the lights passing by, kind of like a light, um, street light. Here we go. Some details and what did I do here? So nothing too crazy, I guess. Lot, basic adjustment. It was a little bit too yellow, so we shot 3600, but then I think I went ahead and dropped the temperature to 700 to keep that cool feeling. Boom. This is really nice, actually. Here's the, the camera car, basic adjustment, and this horrible <laughs> yellow light. See, it is crazy, but it, it's, a, it's a very easy fix. So the, the thing about DaVinci, if you know where to put your hands, you can fix stuff pretty easily. So here, boom, 
the yellow disappeared. So this was before, after, before, after. Here is him inside the car in the studio talking to the virtual assistant of Mercedes. Here again uh, on the top right, we use the uh, Astera. Here we have some uh, Rilio lighting up his face. So let's just deactivate all our node right here. So this was the shot. And we shot this one on the Leica R 90 millimeter. So before, after. This is the close up of Mercedes assistance. The flare that you see right here on the top right, that's Rilio. So a little Rilio light, which I love. Before, after. See, keep the blue as a main theme of the entire video. Okay, let's go ahead and we go to another Mavic shot. This was another camera car, so nothing too crazy. Again, got rid of some yellowish going on. Battery and my basic adjustment right here. Boom. Great edit here. So let's go frame by frame and check it out. Boom. Beautiful. And then we're back in the studio and here, of course, guys, the situation are kind of the same. So kind of going a little bit uh, faster because you already figured it out. But yeah, lot rec 709 and basic adjustment. This is one of the clip where we came out with the idea to drop the ISO. In this case, it's 400, but I think we shot at 160. And basically the reason why we shot it like this is because we were able to preserve uh, some of those lights in the back. The pocket was capturing these as a as a pink, but it's an easy fix. You go into the U versus U, and you drop it. You, you pick up this color, and then you drop it, and it becomes red. So this is, was actually the right color of the lights of the car. So if we pump up probably to 400, it's a little bit better. There we go. Nice and nice and clean. Uh, no noise at all. At ISO 400. So before. See, even the log is just very, like, kind of pinkish. And after, here is another beautiful um, shot on the dolly. Moving out is the same thing we did before. We had to um, transform the taillights from purple to red. Back in the studio, it's dancing. You already saw this, this one, this one too. This is another insane shot back in the street here again guys this is the same thing that i did before i want to focus again on those horrible lights in the back this is a super green yellow and we just saturated them and make it look nice this is one of my favorite shots like that map turning and him dancing studio as you can see my nose on the right there are still two natural plus basic adjustment so this is another shot of the back of the mercedes Again, before and after, here there was some yellow is going on, so get rid of that too, and a mask right here to bring down everything around the car. So that was a really cool shot. Then, of course, these are all like kind of stuff that's repeating, but um, same stuff right here. The light, the mask, and uh, this was another kind of complicated shot to capture, to be honest, so before, after. I'm gonna show you guys very quick. This is actually a VFX. So the effect that you see here, this was made by Matte. Oh, and because Matteo actually edited this in Resolve, he did this mask that I can actually show you. Check this out when he opens up. This was how it was before, and I, I have no clue what he did it, but he did it in Resolve. Oh, check that out, that's the mask. So if I turn it off, you can see the car and the studio, some stuff. And he basically made it like, if it's a reflection on some on the street or something so it's kind of cool that you can do this stuff in resolve so and this is one of the final shot uh, it was actually pretty tricky but i'm going to show it to you this is the log and this is the gray version again we wanted to get the nice blue uh, feeling and there was pretty yellow and green so this was one of the main correction as you can see there's like green all over we didn't want this even if i thought it looked kind of cool but they didn't want it. So this was the mask, of course, inverted, as I showed you before, right here. So if we activate this, 
is the regular mask we invert it and of course we use the tracker so basically now the mask follows uh, the car and i think davinci does an insane job with the tracking and uh, of course our basic adjustment uh, the natural and uh, this is some noise reduction and some minor correction and uh, this it was a pretty important correction because they hated the blue on the license plate so they wanted to correct this and in order to do that i did a u versus sat again and when you activate it and you go here you can see u versus sat uh, i basically pick up the blue color and i drop it and completely desaturated so um, this was how the license plate used to look and this is with the mask so again before after okay some other super quick shot check that out dancing and we get detail here is all like very simple like exactly what we did before and then we're back to the gym same thing guys some more studio here was like a, just a zoom in into the shot and we kind of like it and i think that astera did a great job here because you kind of i mean maybe if you stop and you go frame by frame you can tell but if, if you check this sequence right here it is pretty fast so another little close-up of the sport plus and boost this is actually done i think in after effect as well looks pretty cool another steering wheel shot with the aster out there some building and pretty much we're done here so we got to the end so there you have it guys i hope you enjoy it and i show you the entire color grading process this was the exact same project that i graded for mercedes thanks so much for watching guys let me know if you like it let me know if you want to see more tutorial and i'll see you in the next video